Oye, mira, my name is Christian Ortiz. I'm the CEO and founder of Mod Atlas Media, located right here in Denver, Colorado. And I'm the developer of Justice AI, the world's first ethical AI chatbot that can analyze, identify, deconstruct, and reformulate harmful biases all across the board and in every industry. And you're probably asking yourself, what the hell does that even mean? Well, this is the video that's going to show you exactly what it can do and how it can possibly change your life. I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm pretty excited. So take a seat, hang out with me, and let's dive in. This is a modern look. Life moves at an incredible pace, doesn't it? Every day we're bombarded with decisions, confronted with situations that demand instant reactions, and navigate a world that feels increasingly complex. This complexity isn't just external though, it mirrors the intricate workings of our own minds, our thoughts, feelings, and most notably our biases. These biases, often invisible to us, steer us in ways we might not even be aware of, influencing our choices, shaping our interactions, and coloring our perceptions with the world around us. Before we dive into how Justice AI works, we need to understand what bias actually is, and the difference between benign bias and harmful bias, because this is what we're going to be deconstructing. So what is benign bias? Imagine choosing chocolate ice cream over vanilla, a mushroom pizza over a Hawaiian, rooting for your favorite team simply because of geographic location or family tradition. Maybe you gravitate towards books authored by women without actively deciding to do so. These benign biases refer to an unconscious predisposition towards certain things, people, or groups that is considered non-harmful or without significant negative consequences. So while biases can be positive or negative, a benign bias is one that does not lead to unfair treatment or discrimination against others. So let's identify harmful biases and how they are deeply embedded within our social structures, perpetuating inequality and injustice. This is where Justice AI comes in. Every day, people of color get turned down and rejected from jobs they apply for because of their last name sounding too ethnic. Somewhere, a little black girl is getting bullied by other black girls trying to fit into white spaces. This intergroup discrimination may never be understood by her as she gets older. Somewhere, this Hispanic man is having an interview, being asked discriminatory questions while being given a side eye by the very person interviewing him. Somewhere in a call center, a woman has been stuck in her position for five years, being given very little opportunities for advancement. Somewhere, a man is trying to navigate his openly racist CEO, who just announced through company-wide email his hatred for Chinese people. Somewhere, a disabled child is being picked on and underestimated by his peers. Somewhere, an elder retired man who's unable to survive off of retirement alone is immediately overlooked when applying for jobs because of his age. Every day, millions of Americans go homeless outside of reasons for drugs and mental health. Many are immediately rejected for any type of help. Every day, members of the LGBTQIA community are hunted down through legislation or hate crimes. So what happens when you take these real stories and you input them into Justice AI? Justice AI is powered by OpenAI and runs similarly to ChatGPT 4.0. In this situation, the user is explaining to Justice AI his experience within his interview that day, how the interviewee was asking him discriminatory questions, giving him the side eye, and he's asking what could he have done in the moment. Also, analyzing the situation, what kind of bias this was, and gets a full breakdown on racial bias. In this scenario, a hospital is about to input its PDF of policy and procedures to conduct an audit through Justice AI. The goal is to identify any potential harmful bias. Uploading the PDF, the user asks Justice AI to analyze the document for any potential harmful bias. Although there was no implicit bias, it did identify some systemic barriers that might affect certain outcomes. 
In 2023, corporations spent $64 billion on settling lawsuits for discriminatory practices and an additional $20 billion on employee turnover due to discriminatory practices. Implementing Justice AI as a mitigation tool and a preventative measure for discriminatory practices is yet another way Justice AI can save the day by building inclusive spaces. Now, with Justice AI, you can create a safe space for yourself to help deconstruct your personal biases and develop tools to help deconstruct sexism, promote gender equality, deconstruct racism, build inclusive communities, and change the world together. I honestly believe that the reluctancy within our society to hold crucial conversations stems from a lack of safe spaces from every angle. We cannot cross broken bridges. But with Justice AI, we can build bridges that will last a lifetime.